Hello everyone, happy Monday. Today we are going to do a empties video that I've been saving for a while. I was trying to find a place to put that. All right, and um, if you hear banging, I woke up to people on the roof next door banging because they're getting a new roof. So, lovely. If you can see all those things over there. I got to get this room under control. Um, if you could hear that over there, I'm sorry. Let me know in the description so I could. I'm going to try to listen to the other video because they were a lot louder when I was doing this than they are right now. So hopefully I can put the other video up and you could hear what I'm talking about. But I was clearing off everything off the top of this so I could get all this done. And okay and one thing you won't find in here but I do want some recommendations from y'all is what is the best dry shampoo y'all can you y'all have found I would love to know in the description box and that is all if you are new here welcome if you like what you see please subscribe we would love for you to join us um, but you don't have to you could come in watch the videos and leave at your, at your discretion um, we would love for you to stay, like the video, all that YouTuber stuff, you know, that they all say, but you know, and that is a different color, isn't it? Or is that how the light's hitting? It might be how the light's hitting. I don't know. Uh, the foundation is a skin tint, and I think I got it in too dark of a shade, but I think the other shade was too light, because that's the only reason I would get a darker shade than... But it says light to medium, so it's the Milani Glow. We'll figure it out in a little while. Okay, so let's just get in here. I don't have it organized, so it's going to be random. Um, the first thing I got in here is the L'Oreal Age Perfect Eye Cream. I literally just ran out of this the other day. I think I did a video on it with its two little friends. There was a night cream and a day cream. And I literally just ran out of this, and I believe... That any minute I'm running out of the night cream. Yeah, so sad. I love this. I love the smell. It's like a light, clean scent. Uh, my under eyes were perfect. Um, they're not doing so good with the hundred and twenty-three dollar one that I got from BoxyCharm, but I don't know what the difference is. So I just started using that the other day when I ran out of this. Um, the next thing is the Pacifica Glowing Makeup Removing Wipe with Glycolic Acid, Orange, and Vanilla. I have another pack already in the drawer, but I'm using a Equate one now. That's lavender scent. So, and I got the one size by Patrick Star ones. So, but I love this. Have you... Have you ever used, when you were little, do you remember the orange dreamsicle? It had the vanilla type ice cream in the middle and it had the orange like sherbet or hard shell or something that wasn't chocolate and it was so good. It smells like that to me. I love those. That is not the first time I've gotten it and it won't be the last. Ever since I got it for free in some kind of box. I can't remember the box. I don't know. Um... The next thing, um, they're not expensive either. I believe they're under ten dollars, and you get like, it's real thick. If I get it, if I think about it, I'll grab the, the one that I haven't opened yet and show you. Um, the next thing is the Physicians Formula Natural Defense Finishing Powder, with sunscreen in them. In it, it's got RPF and PPF, whatever that means. I've used this a few times, and this is like the th second or third one I've gotten, and I've hit pan on it like it's gone i used it till i can't use it no more basically it has a mirror just like all physician formula things do and i love it i'll go buy another one i don't have a backup which is surprising but i might wait and here that brings me to the question that you'll hear about in the next video but i never asked um do you want me to record the um a declutter or do you want me to just talk about what I got left or do you want me to do the declutter and then like do a video 
let me know. Um, and if you are here listening to this, put a tree in your comment when you answer. So I know people are actually listening to that question. And even if you don't have an answer, just put a tree in your comment. That way I know because I've asked this in a few videos and I haven't done the declutter because no one's answered. So I didn't know whether or not I needed to record it or not. So put a tree and that tree will get you an extra entry to the next giveaway. So, all right, I will go on. This went and expired on me before I was able to use it, but I believe this is the second one I've had. Yeah, this is the Pore, Pure Heels Pore Clear Black Charcoal Cleansing Foam. And it's basically almost empty or it's foamed up in there because I could believe I wasn't getting anything out of it anymore. Um, but I love this stuff. I will probably buy more. I got it in that um, skincare box that I was getting for free for a while. That I think they went out of business. All right. Next thing is Skintimate Raspberry Rain shave gel i love the scent of this i love how it moisturizes as it i shave and um i was able to get a pack of two for under ten dollars i believe it was around five technically so yeah it's got vitamin e and olive butter in it and i love this and i will also say i love the generic equate version or whatever the version is now for walmart i used to get a different one and they changed it so, I ordered that on Amazon. I don't know what to do with this. There is nothing wrong with this except for I personally don't. It doesn't work for me. Because what I need it to cover, it wasn't covering. But it's a really good thing. And it's in the color brown, medium brown. And it doesn't work on grays. I have a few, or I did. I don't know where they went. <clears throat> yeah, I have a few gray hairs that are only at the bottom. And I was trying to figure out a way to cover them up. And Influencer sent me this. And it's really good. And I love the way my hair felt. It didn't destroy my hair or anything else. And... It worked, but not the way I wanted it to. So, yeah. It's good, though. And the pump broke. <sighs> but it's in dark brown. I'm trying to figure out what to do with it. So, I'm going to put it right there. It's not a bad product because it didn't cover the grays, but it did blend. But to me, it also, you take the same amount of time that you would. You leave it in your hair the same amount of time you would if you were dyeing your hair. So it's kind of like, right now I'm using Ever Pure by L'Oreal and my hair is so shiny and this is second, third day, this is the second day after I washed it because I told y'all I'm on that journey, but it's still so shiny and smells so good. It's like a three bottle system. I'm liking it so far. So and it's not making my hair greasy faster. So there's that. So I don't know. <laughs> okay, let's go in. This is Dial Lavender and Jasmine. I love the pink one and I can't remember what the name is also. So I was like, you know what, let me try this. And I love this, the Dial Skin Smart um, technology with the conditioners and cleansers and everything. My skin feels so good and this smells so good. This is Lavender and Jasmine smells good I can't remember it reminds me of a shampoo but I do like this I got the big bottle actually I don't have the big bottle I ran out of the big bottle it had a pump on it and everything I just ran out of it and I'm now using um, the pink one also instead because I like to buy ahead of time and I wasn't sure I would like this but I did like it so I'll buy it again and I got one at the dollar store I probably got this one at the dollar store so, and the big one I got on Amazon. Um, Whole Blends Garnier Smoothing Leave-In Conditioner Coconut Oil and Cocoa Butter Deeply Nourishes and Smooths Frizzy Hair. That's a fib. At least for me. 
I do not like this. This is a, one of the few times you will hear me say I don't like something. But, well, that I absolutely don't like something. I did finish it. It never did what it said it would do. I used it on and off for months. Now, that could be because of me, so I may give it another chance because I was washing my hair every day. Now I'm doing the whole making it healthier by not washing it every day. So we will see. Maybe let me know if this worked for you and you liked it. Please let me know so I can go ahead and try it again now that I'm on this journey. So I'm not using any deep conditioners right now because I'm trying to get my hair to balance itself out and get used to not washing it every day. And I'm thinking if I put a lot of deep conditioners in it at this moment, it's going to cause it to get greasy faster. So we're training right now, and then we'll move on to the more immediate training, intermediate training. So, yeah. Um, this, I liked it, but you use so little because you only put it, it's by Purity. You only use so little to put on the spots that you need to put it on that it expired before I used it all. It's supposed to... I don't know if I had it in the wrong spot, if you're not supposed to have it. Like, I don't know. But it was white. And now it's not white. Do y'all see what I'm saying? And I don't remember. Yeah, it expired. It's got an expiration date on it. At the end of last month. So, I don't put stuff on my skin. But for a year. Maybe some people have darker more spots I thought I had a lot I have one here here all here here some down here some over here and I was putting what it said on those spots and I barely used it so I don't know maybe people maybe I was doing it wrong let me know should I have used like more I did love it but it's this went bad. This is a mascara, I believe, by You Can Yeah, by You Can Be. I loved it. It's got great packaging. Then you get it online at Amazon. But um, it went bad before I finished it. That's the only thing I hate about full size mascaras. That's why you will see me using a lot more of these than these. But it's really good. I love the brush. This I never got around to using, and I'm pretty sure it's expired. I don't know. Why I never used it and something from one of the other bottles got on it this is a glam glow super serum and I can't say whether I like it or not because I never used it I never got around to it, it kept going to the back of the the counter or the back of a drawer and I never saw it and I'm not when I went to go pump it the other day it it just wasn't happening so we're throwing this away and I don't know if I liked it or not. <laughs> um, this I got from Korean Beauty brand. This is VT. I talked about this and it goes bad after three months. I can't remember how long I used it. But I used them all. All. All of them are gone. All of them were used on my face. All 60. <laughs> of the Tiger Balm and Sika and Hylon by VT cosmetics so I loved it loved it loved it used it all um, this was a cleanser and I used it all and I did like it there we go it's white so it's like not wanting to show up and it's all in Korean so I can't tell you what brand it is but I remember getting it from roundlab.com korea's kr um i got it from 0.8 l um to test out and i had another thing that came with it i believe it's this nope that's not it it's up there though or i used it all or it was already in a a decent all right this is the no problem if you could see that went bad but I love this. This was a very good primer. And it it has been sorely missed. But it was no longer pumping out. And now it's turned color. So it definitely was going bad. 
Um, this was a sample of Rhythm of the Rain by Vor. It's a hair mask and scalp detox. I liked it. I liked the way my hair felt after using this. And I got multiple uses out of this. So um, I did like it. We have, I finished this off too. This was Lancome Absolute by Ampule. Um, I got this for testing. It's probably at least 40 bucks brand new. And that's the serum coming down, I guess, or that was stuck in there, but it's gone. I used it all and I did love it. I loved it, loved it, loved it. And it made my face feel so good. I used it at night. I would shake it up put a couple of drops in my hand and then put it on my face this I'm using in the shower mega babe space bar detoxing charcoal underarm and I am using it currently I just wanted to talk about it because when I use it I thought there was something wrong with the water and what happens is it's a soap bar type thing right it's charcoal but it left a it leaves a film on the rest of my body so what I started doing is making sure I only get it under my underarms and leave it there and it isn't doing that I have to do the soap first under the arms then I put this on because I want it to sit there you have to leave it there for like three minutes for a minute or two um, the directions are here somewhere but you have to leave it for a minute at least um, directions, massage, leave on for 60 seconds. So I leave it underneath there while I'm shaving my legs. And as um, after I rinse it off, I wash my legs and my body to make sure that the film isn't there. So, yeah. I like it, though. It's really good. I want to get a bigger bar. Um, then we have the Dr. Brandt Pore Purifying Cleanser. I loved it, but I'm not paying the price probably for the way this costs. If I see it at a BoxyCharm um, mega sale thing that they do, whatever they're calling it now, mega drop, drop, mega drop shop, whatever they're calling it. If I see it, I'll buy it. But I'm not. this is a little tube to pay what they're probably asking. I don't even know. I got this from BoxyCharm. And I'm not going to pay the price for it probably. Um, this is Green Plus Lacto Bubbling Peeling by Fasty Lab. I love it. It expired before I was able to finish it. Because you use it every other day. It's to here. So you can see I've used quite a bit. So, and it did peel your skin off. You know, gently peel your skin. I liked it. Then this is the Elf Putty Primer for your eyes. And the Elf Putty Primer for your eyes. So I had two that dried out <laughs> before I could finish them. Yes. How that happened that I had two, I will never know. Obviously one dried out and I bought another one and forgot that I had the other one. And yeah, so we're just going to throw them both out. Then we have the Ulta Brow Shaping Gel. Y'all see me use this. A ton of times I actually used it all I like it it's clear um, this is the wet and wild brow pencil I used it all let's see that's the spoolie it's all gone I got to repurchase that because I did like it but I have enough brow pencils over here that I am going to start being unless they're a new one we're not gonna buy them until after we run out of the more of the other ones this is the revolution cut crease canvas i use this a lot y'all know i use this a lot it is basically empty for all intents and purposes so if i don't appreciate the juvia's place one as much as i appreciate this one we'll be buying this one again we have the um tart man eater um black eyeliner it says turn it won't let me take it off but it's empty I used it all so we are throwing it away and the last thing I have is is dream 
retinol facial serum with vitamins A, C, and E, high potency, firms and tones, smooths lines, is completely empty. I used it all. If I tell y'all I like something 99% of the time, even if I do a video on it, you will see it in an empties video or it will go to my mom because I had more come in to test. That happens, believe it or not. So, um, and then she finishes it. If you need me to, I will start getting on from her and her opinion and we can find out what happens once they leave me. <laughs> but that is the end of the empties video. So, I love y'all. Please subscribe and remember to answer the question I asked you. And I will talk to you later. Bye.